this thing is so heavy. Oh my gosh. I feel like every time I pick it up, I'm gonna break it. What is a modern homestead? Jen at the Sunshine Farm. Today I want to talk to you about what the term modern homestead means to us and share a little bit of an example about a skill we're planning on learning this year that brings the old together with the new. I live here at the Sunshine Farm with my husband Chris. We are in our mid-20s so we're millennial homesteaders and our hobby farm is actually plant-based. So it's a little different than what you might be used to but we hope that we can share our lives with you and that you can learn a little bit along the way. So when my husband Chris and I moved to this little hobby farm, we had no intentions of homesteading. I had never heard the term homesteading. I didn't know what that meant. I had no ideas about growing our own food or plans to do so. And we really just moved to this farm so I could have horses. Chris is an energy engineer and he cares a lot about sustainability. I'm an animal lover. I love, I love caring for the environment and protecting the environment. So some of the aspects of homesteading came very naturally to us, even though we didn't initially have intentions to jump into this lifestyle. Along the way, I discovered a love for gardening, and it paired so well with the plant-based diet that we had adopted. We could grow all of the food we were eating in our own garden, and it was so cool to know that not only were we able to do it ourselves and save money, but we were also growing the food that was going to be most nutritious and most flavorful to us here on our farm. So quickly, we became homesteaders without ever intending to do so. Junior says hello again. He is a common feature in the Sunshine Farm videos because he is a camera hog and he wants all of the attention. Because we jumped into this homesteading lifestyle without a clear plan to do so, we're doing it all while working full time in office jobs in the city of Rochester. So we're driving back and forth to work in the morning. We're obviously using modern vehicles. We're clearly using modern technology to be able to record these videos and share them with you guys and manage social media and all of that. There's so many things about the modern world that we love that really have allowed us to have this lifestyle in the first place. Now, something I love about humans as a species is that we pass down what we learn from generation to generation. So generations before us learned that you can create a certain tool to accomplish a task sooner, and that's how technology came to be. Technology isn't new, it's just changed over time to adapt the needs and the lessons learned from previous generations. And that's why I would say we're using the term modern homestead, because we're using modern tools to accomplish old tasks. Whoa, you're always in the way. And I love the modern tools we get to use. And I'll share an example of one of these in just a minute. Because for us, working full time, and I'm actually in a doctorate program in the evenings, and so I just have very, very little time. And oftentimes, the technology allows us to be able to do things a little bit quicker to accomplish tasks sooner. And really allows us to have the sustainable lifestyle that we're so looking for. There are some ways in which it's important to look at technology and see whether it's really inhibiting you from living a natural lifestyle, and I think that's important to look at. And it's always hard and takes a lot of research to be able to identify where something is stripping you of the natural benefits. For example, we are choosing to use all no-till methods in our garden, and while technology would allow us to be able to go outside and till up our garden really quickly and get it ready for planting, it would also strip the earth of some amazing properties that would allow a garden to flourish. Tilling the soil would decrease the productivity of our garden in the future and actually create more work for us. So there are some aspects of this modern lifestyle that are good to look at and question. I always love to question everything. And while we would love to be able to be here full-time on the homestead and not working nine to five jobs, our jobs are what allowed us to have this life in the first place. It's a good reminder for us to be thankful for the jobs that we have in the modern technology that allows us to enjoy animals and growing our own food and natural living. We were challenged by our new friends. They have a brand new channel called Elk and Anchor Homestead. I'll tag them below in the description 
and they challenged us to share something old that we're planning on learning this year and bringing to our homestead. And so what I wanted to do is share something old, but also put a modern twist to it because we are a modern homestead and share how the modern technology is really allowing us to be able to do something that will both use the garden and the resources that we can grow here, but also be better for our health. So here are just a few herbs that I dried this year. And I don't know if I did it right, but they sure do smell good. Um, I believe we have sage, I have thyme, and then I have oregano dried. Those are the three things I dried this year. And I could have dried a lot more, but it was really challenging to do so. We don't really have the space set up or created to be able to be hanging lots of dried herbs throughout the house. I'm sure we could find a way to do that. But like I said, our time is really a challenge. And then on top of that, we didn't have a quick way of dehydrating tomatoes or other things that can also be dried out just like herbs. And this is where modern technology really comes in hand. So for Christmas, I got something pretty large and special. This is a, um, what is it called? Magic Mill 9 Tray Dehydrator. And this is going to make our lives so much easier. Um, when we have a full garden and want to preserve as much as we can for the winter. I bought a number of different varieties of pepper seeds I'm planning on growing that are just going to be used for dried peppers like chili powder and paprika powder and cayenne. Those are things I'm really excited about being able to cook in our food all through the winter, all through the seasons, and be able to make right here in the farm. But there's no way I would be able to have all the time or the space to dry out all of those things right as they're coming in from the garden and I'm needing to preserve them for the year. So this modern technology will really allow us to use so much more of what we're growing while working with the time that we do have and maximizing our efficiency. So at the same time as I'll be learning something old, drying herbs, and creating products right from the garden that we can use for Chris and I in our meals and medicinal uses for the herbs. It's also adapting this technology that we have now to be able to allow us to do this because in reality with our full-time jobs and all of the other obligations that we have here at the farm, there's just no way we'd be, we would be able to practice this old skill if we didn't have the modern technology that we do. So it's something old and something new and that's what makes us a modern homestead. You might be watching this and think the modern technology isn't getting us very far and you much prefer the older ways of doing things. And I'm not here to argue with you or say that our way is better. I will say that our values are the same. We want to produce a sustainable, self-sufficient way for our family to live. And so we're just using different tools to accomplish that. Real life right here, guys. I cannot keep indoor plants alive. I actually really didn't think I would be good at gardening because I have such a hard time with indoor plants. I kill all of them. I have no idea why. Parsley thrives in the garden, but I bring it inside and and it's just completely dead so quickly. I even had it by the window getting tons of light. The soil is still moist. I'm thinking it was overwatered, but I don't know because it should have been draining. So I'm not sure why it wasn't draining. I don't know guys, but the good news is that even if you struggle with indoor plants, the garden is very forgiving and I'm so excited to be able to get my hands dirty and get out in the garden and really see the rewards of that labor. I hope this video answered a couple questions for you about what it means to have a modern homestead. I'm really glad that you spent these past few minutes with me just to learn a little bit more about our life, the way we choose to live it, and the tools we're using to make that happen. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to be notified when we post another video, you can hit that little bell icon so that when we post something new, you can hear all about it. Please subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. We're really, really glad to have you a part of our journey, and we can't wait to share our next video with you guys.